How you going guys? So today we're gonna get it through some routines, okay? So we're gonna put some few things to do in the morning. You can do it before bed as well, okay? Check this out. Let's go down. So we start first, get in the knees, drop the knees, try to rotate your neck from one side. Going to the other side. So you're doing about five to ten reps each side. When you finish the neck, we're going for the thoracic. So I, I, I like to start from the top and going to the bottom. Okay? So it's just a little bit practice to lose your whole my body to be ready for the day or even before bed if you'll be too tired. So that, that. Ching. So thoracic. So thoracic is just about five reps each side so we stop that so walk your hand for wood now so you're gonna go straight away to shoulders so again for the scapulas so we call the scapula push up so you're going for about 10 you finish that we're gonna try to rotate the scapula for wood so we're doing 10 for wood. When you finish 10 for wood, you try 10 backwards. Why are you doing that? And so it's good to release all these scapula. It's a part of the thoracic. It's part of your posture. Now sometimes you wake up a bit tight across your upper back and the neck. That's help. That's part. So as soon as you finish there, walk your hands a bit for wood. So we're going to try to drop in, up. Down, in, down, up. So they're about five to ten reps. So I get it all this part. So finish one side, we're going for the other side. In, down, in, down, up. So as you finish that, I'm going for wood. I'm going to put it one leg up when I'm across. So that's the capsule stretch. So I hold that for one minute on one side. I finish. I come up. I swap side. So it's to work losing the shoulders way around. One minute there. And then finish. I'm come up. Finish. I'm going for my scapula. Big open, so I dive it down, walk your hand up, look up, and hold that. You hold that for one minute as well. Try to breathing, release. Finish your side. Get to the side. So remember, when I dive in here, I try to touch this cup and back. I try to open the elbow, walk, walk, open. In. Hold that one minute. Oh, so good. So helps release. I come up, finish. I like to go down a little bit. Just put in my open my hips a bit more. So we're going down. If you're feeling a little bit of lower back, just squeeze your glutes together. You stay there. When you finish. I come, step forward, press the hip, arm, catch, up, in, hold, couple of seconds, I drop, I sit, I pull, open chest, dropping down. Going for wood, two hands, hold, up, in, open. So you can hold here for one minute, minute and a half. So it's good to hold for a minute and a half. Have a good release. So my warm up like that, you can take between 10 minutes to up to 30 minutes, depend how intensity you put over there and how long you hold each pose. So you drop, sit, hold. So that. 
you finish, you're gonna get the back leg, bring on the back. So hands, we try to move the hip side to side, side to side, in, out. Then stop. When I die, get the back just open. When I try to breathe, I try to doing some diaphragm breathing. Okay, I try to fill it up from my belly. I hold that for 10 seconds. I drop, I get to the other side and hold that. Finish. I push my hip down. I lie down the floor. I try to do the same. Try to release a bit more on the hip, so you're going side to side. So inhale on the top, exhale, way down. Inhale, exhale. So look, I try to coordinate the timing with my hips. I can close my eyes, just be in peace. Just enjoy each movement we're doing. Do about 10 total, same thing, drop that. You're gonna feel all the area opening. So we get all the muscles, hip, iliac. We get a little bit ob oblique. We get a little bit kiwal muscle here. Finish, we get the other side and drop down there. I finish there. I just try to move my hip a little bit more up, down, up, down. Go about five. I hold up. I try to hold that for 10 seconds. I swap. Go the other one. What I'm doing that is just helps me to stabilize my sacrum, my spine. Okay, I try to get my lower back be more stabilized, my hip more stable there, area there. Okay, so activate that. As soon as I finish that, I drop it down, put it through my belly, I put my legs up, I just try to move side to side. I try to keep my belly on, my core on, and try to breathe in through the movement. So I'll do about 10 total, finish that, I just check in, drop in, drop in, see my lower back don't lift, I stay there. Remember, we just activate all the joints, activate the muscle, nervous system, we make the body be more awake, you're ready to go. So do about 10, when I finish there, I'm going to go on the side and roll. So of all the sequence, I like to finish up, closing the eyes, just close one side of my nose and just in high X, high on the same side. Fill it up my belly first, chest, and let go from the nose again. We do about 10 to 20 one side. I swap to the other side. When I finish that, I'll just try to be quiet, close the eyes, get into my thoughts for about five minutes, 10 minutes, and I'm ready to go, okay? Always I try to do the breathing through the nose is the best way. You, clean, you keep everything clean, is better way to keep the heart rate lower, and yeah, get be smart, no, remember, the nose we have some filters there, all the air coming, they clean up and get it really clean, oxygen inside. Cool. So I hope you enjoy and yes, morning or night, anytime. Thank you.